Welcome, and this is Sparky Linux. What a impressive distribution. Here I'm running the KDE desktop. It is available in others. It's a Polish distribution based off of uh, Debian testing kernel. And here you can see I'm running KDE Plasma 5.8. Very nice, and the kernel version is 4.7. Very, very nice. I have eight gigabytes of RAM, and if you check, I, you can see I'm running a fair amount of uh, RAM usage now, but I also have quite a few programs open, mainly because I didn't want you to wait while I typed in passwords to open those programs. But if you have about six gigabytes or more, and you want to run KDE, Sparky Linux uh, looks really, really sweet. So let's get out of that, and let's go into Sparky Linux screen here. This is just a uh, information screen telling me which one I'm running, operating system version 4. And from here I can go straight to the website forum. So that's very nice. And one of the nice things about Sparky Linux is that you're using uh, Synaptic Package Manager as your primary package manager, but then they also have two additional package managers that you access. One's called Apt US Extra. And from here, you can quickly install additional software. This is a lot like uh, what we've seen in other distributions lately. So I can just find which program I want to add, for example, Google Chrome, click on that, click OK, and it'll start installing it for me automatically. And you can see the list is quite, quite nice. It even has Tor on here. A lot of Sparky uh, programs itself, you know, one for running Conkeys or Compton, just very, very nice. The Sparky USB formatter is already installed. Uh, Spider Oak, Thunderbird. This has got to be the easiest way to install Tor I've, I've done. Uh, it does install it straight to the hard drive, though. And uh, Vivaldi, very easy to install. So that, that's very nice, and I'd like to see more and more distributions add this kind of all-in-one package uh, simplistic one click you're done so that's very nice let's get out of that take a look at apt us and here the interesting thing is if you don't have the uh, ram to run the kde desktop if you want to install other desktops go just into apt us click on desktop and boy there you have all the different choices are they missing any i don't know jwm that's the puppy linux minimalistic uh, very light window manager very nice uh, it's just really, really sweet uh, with lots and lots of choices. Now, when I went to, it doesn't automatically install your NVIDIA drivers. And what you need to do is they have a graphical program called Device Driver Manager. Click on that. It found my NVIDIA graphics card immediately. One click, and it was installed. Too sweet. Uh, has KDE Connect. It's just a wonderful, wonderful program. Now, the first thing I always do in a KDE application is I'll go into my composter, compositor, composter, and uh, I will uh, change my animation speed down to make it faster. If it's normally here in the middle, I always find that to be too slow. So that's the first thing I always do in a KDE desktop. The next is I change my menu launcher to this one which is more XFCE-like. And I also will make sure I add the uh, full screen launcher too. Now it does come with a impressive uh, list of basic programs. If I take a look, it's got you know all your standards for a KDE desktop. And it is just a really, really polished distribution. Is it better than MX-15? I don't know. It's awfully close. MX-15 gives you the, a very easy way to handle Wi-Fi. Um, for example, like with Broadcom and or Realtek. And I'm not sure how well this particular Sparky Linux does it because I didn't have to do it. I have a wired connection here. But boy, uh, if not for that, I really, really like Sparky Linux. And I think 
if you want to try a Debian program, I'm not sure that you could go wrong choosing uh, choosing Sparky Linux. Very nice, very polished, and uh, so far very, very stable. Two thumbs way up for Sparky Linux.